Hi, uh, Will's Family YouTube, Facebook. Coming to you today with a regular video. Yes, a weight loss related video. Okay, a portion of it has to do with it. Little, 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 that portion. A picture that I'm not going to be able to upload. Uh, so, I'll just show you one here. Um, on to the update. Now, I talked about how much I walked in Vegas before. I'm telling you, it had to be every bit of... I had to walk every bit of 7 to 10 miles over the course of... I was there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Over the four days, I had to walk every bit of 10 miles. And I was exhausted. But when I was out there, when it came to eating, you know, I made sure I had my protein, but other than that... You know, I had a little sweet. I've I had a drink, you know, and it was like, okay, it's Vegas, it's Sin City. I'm gonna have what I'm gonna have. And honestly, I could say if it was a year and a half ago when I went to Sin City, yeah, they would be kicking me out of the buffet, point blank, because it'd have been over and done with. But being as though my mind has changed my way of thinking towards food has changed and basically cravings have changed i'm like i no longer want okay with the exception to the rule around my period of time i no longer want junk foods or stuff all the time well i didn't wasn't a candy person i wasn't truly a cake person my only weakness was cheesecakes and it still is a little bit just a little bit but, except for around my period of time, I make good decisions. If I want it, I will eat it, but in moderation. Not every day. I'm not going to come back to it three or four times a day. But, you know, quite honestly, I showed Tom this when he came to my house. I had a big pint of ice cream guy was a chocolate chip cookie dough type John and it was 19 grams of sugar for a half a cup but I don't even eat a half a cup so that's basically cut in half you know what I mean and then on top of that I didn't eat it every day I had that thing with the help from my husband that thing was gone in like two months it took that long and I, it, like I said a uh, year and a half ago that thing would have been demolished within a week or less uh, if it's a, one of them flavors that I really 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 like mm -mm -mm. but like I said on to, to my eating habits over the my vacation my I ate what I wanted to. The first bit of sweets that I had came on Monday, honestly. This is, um, the, the buffet in the Luxor store called More. It's like in the basement. They little buffet bar. They had sugar-free stuff, but it looked like dried bricks. And, you know, you can't eat and drink. It, so I would have had a brick left in my gut and that seemed too appealing. So I tasted um, pistachio creme brulee, which is like a bowl about that big, maybe that deep, which is not much of nothing. It's just little tastes. I really didn't like it. And then I had vanilla pancata. I might be saying that wrong, but anyhow, it's basically like a pudding, which was absolutely divine. I ate three-fourths of that you know what I mean? and I was done you sugar tooth quenched at that point you know what I mean it probably wasn't that bad because the portions were so small you know but through everything I had these oh I had some Kobe beef for the first time oh my goodness that is the food porn right there people oh if I'm going to eat beef and I'm going to have a burger, oh, Kobe beef is the way to go. Because even though I 
with certain steaks, I eat them um, medium. But um, burgers, I eat well. Uh, I might start switching to medium a little bit just for digestive purposes because I had this little like slider sampler it had like four sliders on it from the burger bar in the Mandalay Bay it had a, a Chinese Japanese Kobe beef whatever overseas Kobe beef American Kobe beef Angus and then regular burger now the Kobe the, the Kobe beefs I could t the, the Japanese one went down easy with no problem. It was like the food porn. Yes. Caramelized onions, bacon, cheese. Oh. Oh my goodness. And Kobe beef, I could tell the difference a little bit. The American Kobe beef. But the other ones, like if I'm going to have regular beef or Angus from now on is going to be like, uh, medium well just for the simple fact it just feels so hard going down and it was like those little those last two burgers with little sliders was just sitting with me they was just hey i'm going where you're going where are you going to next you're hitting the strip let's go tell you i'm like oh my goodness digest why don't you oh uh, but i did walk it off we ate we went to this place called Lush. Got some exotic, these all natural soaps and stuff. Went back to the room. Then we figured out we was going to go up the strip. We was sightseeing up the strip. There's your, your first mile or two. That was Friday night. But like all in all, I've eaten and eaten well. I've even had McDonald's out there. I had chicken nuggets. I ate me some nuggets out in Vegas. Because <laughs> it was like two in the morning and it's like nothing open really um but through all my eating and drinks and stuff like that I still managed to lose five pounds um on the 15th I weighed myself and it was 227 I weighed myself not yesterday the day before yesterday Hmm. So that was Wednesday and I weighed 222.2 still lost weight in Sin City ain't that about a blip well so me coming back to Philly, Philly I had told myself alright I ate what I want to for these past couple of days I'm a come back to Philly and let's get back to business buckling down what I need to eat what I need to be eating getting back to basics I get back to Philly my period comes on that blows everything out the dag on water because like I said around that time I'm craving retardedness and everything like that um so as soon as this goes away I'll be back to business so honestly I had ice cream yesterday Day before yesterday it had chocolate in it so I didn't have much but you know it felt good going down the heat here in Philadelphia I probably sweated off like another five pounds since I've been back you know I came back to Philly Tuesday night and it was like muggy and moist and miserable and then the next couple of days it was just hot with humidity i mean it was hot in vegas but i don't even remember sweating as much as i've sweated in the past two days here in philadelphia oh my goodness but anyhow um so i'm down to 222 i am less than 23 pounds away from wonderland what am I going to do when I hit Wonderland? Well, I'm here to have a celebration video because I haven't seen Wonderland since I was in my early teens. Um, let's see. I was teetering between 15 and when I was 15 and 16, I was teetering in between Wonderland and not to Wonderland. So. I might do a little dance, not make a little 
Oh, that's in my eye. I'm going to have a little video party. I'm going to see if Tom want to get down on it too. Uh, since he likes shaking his butt in his videos. <laughs> um, but if you want to, hey, if you want to be in on my, um, my little dance video, let me know. You can mail me your videos of you dancing. It'd be cool. A little collage video. Everybody dancing. Celebrating. Um, oh, last but not least. Uh, I went to this casino on Fremont Street. It's kind of glary. I'm sorry. And guess what they let you do? Take a picture with a million dollars. Check that out. Get it in there, all in there? Yes. The big old period of pyramid of money. I cut my husband's head off. There we go. Mm, that's the closest we get into a million dollars in one place at one time. Uh, yeah, it won't be able to be uploaded, but um, I hate the fact I might take it out of this and put it in a frame, but then you, you lose the all this here that comes with it. I'll probably wrap it in plastic or something to put it up. One billion dollars. See how, how so how, how tongue tied. See how our sister was looking? I got my money, I got my man. Got my money, got my man. <laughs> all right. I'm about to wrap this up because my brother is skitsing. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Au revoir.